That was not the most fun I've ever had. So, as promised, we're going to tear into this 8.8 .8 rear end. So I've got gears and the overhaul kit. What I may have misspoken about in the last video is I do not have the install kit to put that in the frame. Um, so I'm still waiting on that. Anyway, while I was down in the Dallas area a couple weeks back, I went by Summit, and they happened to have this part number in stock so look inside this kit it's got the seals and the front nut and it looks like the bolts for the new i mean new ring bolts and the brush and the gear compound marking compound it looks like some red loctite and shims there's bearings and races also shim stack and there's a crush, there's the crush sleeve. Looks like, yeah, those are probably, yeah, looks like we've got, oh wait, there's a crush sleeve too. And then here's the gasket for the rear end. So, not a single thread of paperwork or anything, because I guess if you're buying one of these kits, you should already know what you're going to do, or what to do or you're watching a YouTube video. <laughs> also, while we were there, I picked up this guy, which is 373 gears for uh, the 8.8 inch Ford. And I don't think gearing cares whether or not it's the IRS or solid axle. I love the instructions that came with this. Drag race, repeat step one above, pull to line. So that's pretty handy, kind of explains where the heel and the toe and your coast side and your drive side, so whenever you put your marking compound on, you'll see how you need to shim it. One thing that made me a little concerned when I first looked at these gears, it's got marking compound on it and it's already been like tested to set it up. But anyway. So here's the ring, here's the pinion. Now, if you count the teeth on the ring, there's 41. And if you count the teeth on the pinion, there's 11. 41 divided by 11 equals 3.727. So 373 gears, it checks out. Well, this is disappointing to say the least. What we were hoping is that this was going to be a track lock differential. And what that means is it leaves two black marks when you get on the, the loud pedal. But basically, you can tell right away because Ford's track lock looks like an S-shaped metal, um, I don't know, like a thin piece of sheet metal that's bent in an S-type shape that goes around this center pin. And that keeps pressure against these, which are called spider gears, to where whenever you put a load on it, it engages and makes sure that both sides um, are turning on the axle. So we can buy another carrier that has the, the track lock in it, if you will. A lot of people call it posi-track is the most common term. 
and you know for these it's only a couple hundred bucks for these 28 splines so we'll definitely spend the money and get one a new carrier that has a posi trap because there's no point in building this truck and uh, at the level that we're going to build it and not have a locking rear differential Tell you the nice thing about replacing everything is I don't have to worry about being gentle when I'm removing it. We're gonna have a new carrier, ring and pinion, spider gears will be new, all the bearings new, all the seals new, and of course pinions new because it's sitting over there. Anyway, while we've got it out, I like to do this just for posterity. I laid this in place and I counted 40 teeth on the ring gear. And then I counted 13 teeth on the pinion. 40 divided by 13. 30769, so 3.08, which is what we learned from reading the tag a couple of videos back. I showed you guys that it has the 3 and the 08, so that means it has 308 gearing. A lot of people want to use all these other numbers and come up with something, but none of that matters as far as the gear ratio. It's just a 308 and it's an 8.8 .8 differential. So we've proved that these were still the stock gears that Ford put in there when this thing was new. You guys know I'm not big on multi-part videos to accomplish a single task, but in this situation, we've probably got six or seven minutes worth of video footage of tearing this 8.8 IRS down. So we'll probably make that a video. And then when I gather up the rest of the parts that we need, we'll put it back together in a pretty rapid form. There's tons of videos out there showing you how to set gears up, etc. But this one is mine. Anyway, that's it and that's all. Thanks for watching, y'all.